I've missed you. I missed you. It's been so long. And I love we'll seeing see you. you again. I, I, I love seeing you as, as often as you want to be here. I, I want you to be here. I'm hoping to get a job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you don't have enough here. jobs. You don't have enough going on. I could always use one more. All right. Uh, can we uh, talk about your slow walking with Andy? You did a tape piece with Andy and yes. you slow walked with him. Yeah. Did you find it at all, at all <laughs> inspirational, good for you? Uh, Athletic? I think it was a uh, giant waste of time. <laughs> but it seems to be working for Andy because he looks the same. <laughs> so I think he's still on that same workout. Right. Which is about a week and a half ago. No, he right. looks good. How are you, buddy? Good. He looks like he wants to fight me now. Yeah. <laughs> he does, believe me, he does not look like he wants to fight you. He's, he's no, scared he's to death of you. I'm sucking in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> But perhaps maybe what you could actually do, now that you've done a slow walking, maybe he could do an actual workout with you at a gym. Oh, why don't you? Yeah, you can bring them right? to F45. <laughs> Are you in? Can we yeah. get him in? Yes, he can hear you and he can go. And, and uh, I, you give him permission? Let's, I think that was an order, actually. Yeah, let's set that up because it's you, mandatory now. You have this gym that I was supposed to be uh, a, a part of and you never yeah. called me. Why, why not? Oh, that's not true. Really? Yes, I think. I guess my people are supposed to be talking yeah. to your people. Okay, so something got lost in translation. Because I wanted to, to so this do is it good. With so you. we're back into this okay, thing now good. because it's still a possibility. But what I found when I've always kind of done my own thing for workouts and every move that I've done, I have my own particular training that I do. And I walked into a gym and I saw a 50-something-year-old woman working out with a collegiate athlete, and they were working together as a team. And it was all high fives and loves. There's no. Uh, there's no mirrors in the gym, it, there's no judgment, it's all about community and support. Right. And it was an absolute love fest to the point where now I have this 2,000 square foot gym in my house that I don't even use anymore, because I go to F45 every single day. Right, which is your gym that you have, yes. F45. Yes. And what does that stand for? Functional 45, 45 minutes, you're in, you're out, you stretch, you warm up, you do the workout, which is never the same twice. And literally, Andy, in the beginning of his fitness journey, and somebody like me, who has a little bit more experience in the gym, could literally work out together, and you could modify the exercises. So if he had like to wear, use two pound dumbbells, and I was using <laughs> 66. Don't, don't give him that much. <laughs> if he was using a cell phone, yes. and I was using 66 pound dumbbells, but you can literally do the workout together. So now like, my wife goes, our nanny goes, uh, we have so many people who go who have been terrified to go into the gym. And it's the, literally, the membership is 75% women. And we are now trying to work with different corporations to conquer obesity in America and tell people that no matter if you've never walked into a gym before, you can do this workout and you can change your life. It's absolutely incredible. I, I'm in with you. Yeah. I, I, I know. It's, I was, look, as soon as I heard you wanted to do something, I was like, yes, I want to do it. But, but here's what I, I think we're going to disagree on right now, which is always good. You can be friends and disagree on things, but you have this... I love that about you. Yeah. When they were giving you a hard time about being photographed with George Bush, mm -hmm. you were like, I could still be friends with people who don't have the same political beliefs as yes. me, which is such a beautiful yes. thing. Because there is so much divide now, and it's... It's, it's yeah. sad, you know? It's getting to the point where if someone is not exactly like you and think exactly like you and does the same, that you can't, you, you don't like them anymore. And yeah, man, no. we're in trouble when that starts happening yeah. because you can't do that. Um, but here's, here's where we, we may disagree. So you have this feud with Dr. Oz right now where yes. Dr. Oz says that breakfast is the most important thing. Oh, no, no, I'm on your side. I'm I saying breakfast is the most important. Oh, you are, then I disagree with you. Oh, you're with Dr. Oz? Yeah. <laughs> I do the intermittent fasting, uh -huh. and I don't, I mean, look, breakfast is breaking a fast, so it doesn't matter what time of day it is. Breakfast yeah. is, it could be one o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't think you have to get up and eat before you do anything. You think you have to get up and eat? No, you know, I was kind of from the old school bodybuilding philosophy that, you know, you had to eat all this ridiculous amounts of protein. You know, I was eating every three hours. But uh, the last movie that I did, I started having some issues because of eating so much. And I was eating so much protein, I was storing it and using it other than building lean muscle. So I was getting the leaky gut. So I just literally did a bone broth fast. I didn't want to give Dr. Oz any credit, though, because you know what happened with Dr. Oz? <laughs> He's like three years late. Everybody's been doing intermittent fasting. The ketone diet, it's one thing and another. You know, you gotta eat breakfast, then don't eat breakfast. Don't right. eat for 16 hours, then you gotta eat every three hours. It's always constantly changing. Yes. But Dr. Oz is coming to work out with me on Thursday at F45. So why don't we get Andy over Andy there? Andy would be great to go there. You guys can come. The and Dr. Oz is gonna get what he deserves. He's gonna get... <laughs>
he's gonna get, he's gonna get the real workout. All right. But I do understand exactly what he's saying. It's worked for. I mean, I literally just do it right. the bone broth and the cleanse. I lost. 10 pounds in like five days. God, you have such discipline. I don't yeah. know how you do it, because that's that's really difficult. Yeah. I mean, and you have kids and a wife. First that day, nobody wanted to be around me. Yeah, for or, sure. I was or miserable. Or are you around them, because you're smelling food and next yeah. to them eating. But I, then I started having more energy, and I. but I'm so lucky and fortunate to have my job and do what I do that mm -hmm. there isn't anything I wouldn't do to prepare. Yeah. Um, all right, we have to go to break, but just, just b before we go to break, I'm just not clear. You think that you should have breakfast first thing in the morning? I still, I had, I had. Just a quick yes or no. Just a, just yes. A, no. But, okay. <laughs> I still want to be your friend. I still want to be your friend. Well, see that. But people, some people don't want to get up and eat right away, and that's what makes the world go round. Some people want to eat, some people don't want to eat. And we can all just love each other. Free we'll be will. right back.